I hope this is still on all one tape. Um, it might be a new one. But anyways, hi, this is Tammy, and my friend Zita asked me if I could do a tutorial on a, a fairy garden. And this isn't really much of a tutorial. It's just, you know, I love doing it. So um, I bought this vase thing off of somebody off of uh, one of the marketplaces on Facebook. I'm not sure what I paid. I either paid 5 or $10 for it. No, I think it was 8 8 bucks. And I've already started it. it. It's very Santa Fe. And I looked everywhere on eBay to see if I could, I wanted somebody swinging from the inside of it. And I was hoping for an Indian. And uh, couldn't find any Indians on a swing. So I found this fairy on a swing. And what I've used for the background, I bought this this book here. It has its patterns. And it has all these beautiful pictures in it. They're just patterns. And I want it kind of on the background. I was thinking at first forest and little trees or whatever down below. But then, you know, again, this is kind of a Santa Fe look. So um, inside here, I found I found cactus, a cactus with background. As you can see, this is really neat. And you can get these at Walmart and use them for anything. I mean, they're just awesome. This was perfect. When I came across that cactus, there it is. I thought this is perfect. So what I did is I used decoupage and I decoupaged it because this is going to be outside for a protection on the front of it and let it dry and I turned it over and decoupaged the back and put it on the inside of here. So now it's got like a protective coating on it. And this little fairy that I got, she, uh, she, her string really wasn't long enough so I had to do an attachment and I used one of those hooks that you get, you know, those where you can remove and put back on hooks. They're like taped back. I used that to hang her with and some bread ties to get her to come down a little lower. Next, um, while you're here, uh, I'm going to show you with one hand what I'm going to do is my husband said gravel. I was going to do dirt or maybe some clay and dry it in there, you know, make it look like it was dirt and put plants in it. But he said to use gravel. And I'm, kind of, I'm going to show you. This is, I think that was a really good idea. And um, some of the things I, I have in mind is, what do you think of this? This is a fake plant. Um, tired of my plants dying in the winter. So... Bake is good enough for me. I might glue this in later, but I just kind of give you an idea of how to put this together. Um, I'm going to do it with one hand as we talk here, as I film. Just to give you an idea of how this is going to turn out. This, this gravel should work just fine. I thought that was a really good idea on his part. Sorry, little swingy. Sorry, the filming sounds that good because I do it with one hand. And Anyways, wish I could had something to hold this for me. Um, also, Zita told me about um, the dollar store having uh, some stuff for fairy gardens. So, well, actually, these are these rocks I got a long time ago from the fairy. I mean, from the dollar store for my fairy gardens. And. I found uh, some other stuff at the dollar store that after she said they had stuff for fairy gardens. And I thought this little turtle would probably work pretty cool because there's turtles in the desert, right? Wouldn't a teepee look really cute in here? A little teepee? You know, since, you know, Santa Fe is coming back. Anyways, I'm we thought about putting this here. This is just, it's very easy to do fairy gardens. It's just imagination and containers. And, um, I buy these beautiful crystal ball things from eBay. And it, you know, pay a dollar, maybe two dollars. They come with a little stand. And this one's kind of an amber, almost a sun. And I'm going to put that in there. I glued it actually to the stand just a little while ago. It's probably still wet. But I want to find a place for that in here because I just I think they're beautiful and they come in all kinds of beautiful colors. This is not the very prettiest of colors, but I I kind of like it. Kind of reminds me of the of like a sun, and I'm gonna go ahead and I was thinking about using whoops, lost one. Um, these well, 
Let me grab that. There's marbles in here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, this is really messing up the tutorial. Anyways, these, whoops, these blue ones are great for like making, uh, man, I'm losing my marbles. Ha 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 ha. Whoops. Anyways, the blue ones you can use like in a pattern going through, through the rocks, you see, and it kind of looks like water. I'm going to show you. I use the blue ones only and losing these marbles like all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm messing up. Anyway, let me kind of stick these in here just to give you an idea what it'll look like. Um, I can't really completely finish this because I've only got one hand. But it's, it's nearly there. Anyways, if you put enough water or blue ones, it looks like water running through it. And um, pretty much that's it for this one. It was simple, it was easy, and I'm gonna call it done and kind of get back. And, and of course there was a little more work with the paper and everything, but it really was really easy. And um, I like the way it turned out. I think it's really cute. Um, please, if you aren't subscribed to me, please subscribe. And let me know what you think about my little fairy garden, this one. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty well. Anyways, I'm going to let you go and finish up the water in here. And you all have a great day, and God bless everyone. Bye for now. Bye.